for this Wednesday, July 25th, 2001 broadcast. Tyranny is enveloping the globe, and the United States is a shining jewel the globalists want to bring down, and they will use terrorism as the pretext to get it done. So that's coming up in the second half of the show. Very important information. I'm going to put the call out that you call the White House and tell them, look, we've seen the news stories that you've wanted to blow things up, that you have blown things up, and that you're saying that four million of us are going to die and we need martial law and the Associated Press. And one of your little drills you had. And that we're aware of who the terrorists are if you pull this. This can stop this Hitlerian Reichstag event. There's a problem, folks. The government is now using that here with Oklahoma City and the World Trade Center, which we have proven in documentaries I've made. General Benton Parton, former head of Air Force Weapons Development. Dr. Frederick Whitehurst, former head of the FBI Crime Lab. Hoppy Heidelberg, grand juror, head grand juror in the Oklahoma City grand jury, threatened at his home by the FBI at gunpoint to shut up about the government doing it. The list goes on and on. The seismograph experts at the University of Oklahoma who got the two bombing, the feds not releasing the 12 surveillance camera tapes that they had of the so-called truck bomb, the columns being sheared off at the bottom with black blast points from plastic explosives, the rebar disintegrated, pieces of the building blown out across the street, Clinton's approval rating at 32%, 80%, 78% a month after the bombing, the Anti-Terrorism Effective Death Penalty Act passed, basically abolishing the Bill of Rights, creating new 60 new federal offenses, reasons to execute you, doubling the size of the FBI and BATF, blaming Christians and conservatives and libertarians with the bombing, and Clinton even blaming talk radio. Why did Hitler burn the Reichstag? Well, he had been elected chancellor, but he wasn't president, to become Fuhrer and to abolish the presidency, to make himself lord of the upper and lower houses of parliament in the Reichstag. He firebombed it. They grabbed a poor, mentally retarded Jewish homeless man off the street, summarily convicted him, executed him, and declared martial law. Now, don't tell me we're not in this system already. I want to put the toll-free number up for Congress. And I won't want you to believe Alex Jones. I want you to go get these news stories off my website. I want you to call these major newspapers. I want you to find out these statements were true by the White House about preparing for martial law. And I want you to let them know that if there is any terrorism, we know who to blame. It's like having a convicted child molester next door to you and your son or daughter gets raped. You know who to check with first. You wanted to blow up airliners. You let the Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor. We now have the communiques that prove it. You knew the bombing date and tied the ships together in neat little rows. That's even on the History Channel. I mean, we have the documents from the government. You bombed Oklahoma City. You bombed the World Trade Center. That's even been in the New York Times, October 28th, 93. So one of your informants went public and recorded the FBI telling them to build the bomb and let the bombing go forward. They were fearing for their lives, so they recorded the FBI, the head FBI agent in New York, telling him to do it. This is to corral you and to control you. Truth is stranger than fiction. This is their main paradigm in history. You don't promote terrorists. You don't advertise them. You don't advertise your weaknesses. You don't talk about how you're wide open. That's how they start out here. We'll collapse. We'll have disintegration. Four million dead. We're wide open. Yeah, and what are you doing? Don't search those trucks coming over the border. Open the southern and northern border. Give the Chinese military Long Beach Naval Base. Do all this. You know why? They control Mexico. The globalists control China. It's even on the History Channel now. What I've reported documents that Mao was funded and given the weapons and Sheck wasn't. They wanted communism in there. The point is, if any terrorism comes, it's from this government. And if there was an outside threat like a bin Laden, who was a known CIA asset in the 80s, running the Mujahideen War, and whose family builds all the military bases over in Saudi Arabia right now, and sits on the board of Iridium Satellite, he's the boogeyman they need in this Orwellian phony system. 
U.S. lawmakers warned of dark winter in case of bioterrorist attack. A chilling scenario of possible national collapse was presented Monday to U.S. lawmakers by a group of prominent security experts who warned that a biological terrorist attack on U.S. soil could bring the country to the brink of disintegration. The panel, which included former Deputy, Deputy Secretary of Defense John Harm, Oklahoma governor and one of the architects of the Oklahoma City building bombing, Frank Keating, as his brother wrote, The Final Jihad, three years before the bombing, where a Ted... I mean, this is amazing. Where a Ted McVeigh bombs the Murrow building. God, Keating, how'd you know that? I have a copy. I went to the bookstore. Oh, it's out of print. You'll have to get it from somebody else. The Final Jihad. Keating, how'd your brother write that book? I got so much evidence. He And in the start of the book, it says, I honor this to the Knights of the Secret Circle. Oh. A chilling scenario. Uh, the panel, which included former Dep Deputy Secretary of Defense John Harm, Oklahoma Governor Frank Keating, former FBI agent, and former Senator Sam Nunn, presented their conclusions after holding a two-day exercise codenamed Dark Winter, which featured a computer-simulated bioterrorist attack on three U.S. cities. Again, governors, congressmen and women, senators, FBI people, local police, all here for this fear fest. Give up your rights. Ladies and gentlemen, they wanted to blow up airlines, kill Americans, bomb Washington for a pretext to invade Cuba. That's in the Baltimore Sun. They bombed Oklahoma City. They bombed the World Trade Center. That's proven. They stand to gain. They get the power. It's not our government. It's an occupational government. It's not the Constitution that failed. It's us that failed. We that failed the Constitution. I want the White House numbers up there now. A big part of this solution, after you research all the government terrorism and check out what I'm saying is true, call the White House and tell them, we know the government's planning terrorism. We know Oklahoma City and World Trade Center was terrorism. We know the Joint Chiefs of Staff wanted to blow up airliners, Baltimore Sun. If you do it, we're going to blame you because we know who's up to it. Or if you let some terrorist group do it, like the World Trade Center, we know who to blame. And you could save the planet. I'm calling it Operation Expose the Government Terrorist. Because now they're going from killing 160 people at Oklahoma City and 81 at Waco and a couple dozen injuring 1,000 at the World Trade Center to saying 1 to 4 million. Associated Press. Call the White House, tell them, we're not going to put up with government terrorism. We know the government's behind all this stuff. We have the evidence. Fax them, write them. In fact, throw it back up, Mike. That is so important. Thanks for putting that up there. And if you miss the numbers, they're on Infowars.com. Let's take another call.